Okay, so you want to remove the boot logo that shows up on the CyberEdge laptops, the Lenovo E4115. And once you remove it, it'll look like this. And there we go. So right now I have Windows 7 installed on this. It will come with Windows 10. And it's the same procedure really, it doesn't matter. So first of all what you'll have to do is you'll have to download a file, a setup file for the BIOS firmware. And the link's in the description if you want that. And just be warned that this won't work on any other laptop. So if you have any other laptop, it'll break it. So don't try to do this on another laptop. Okay, so this is my desktop and I placed the file that's in the description over here. And in that there will be a setup. So you can just run the setup. Yes. Just keep clicking next and it will install this file in C drive, BIOS, blah blah blah. So you click next, install. Uh, when this thing opens up, just make sure to un be sure to uncheck this and click finish. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to start and shut it down. So basically, what these guys have done is they have locked the option in the BIOS that allows you to flash a new BIOS, which is pretty uh, cunning, I guess. So just wait for this to shut down. It looks like this thing shut down. Fine. So what you need is you'll need either a pin or you can use a SIM removal tool. Now I'm using my iPhone SIM removal tool. Where you can really use a safety pin as well. And what you want to do is just go here on the right hand side on your the lower corner. I'm not sure if you can see this, but uh, on the next to the USB port there's a small hole there's a small hole over here you can't see it on the camera but it's there so you just take your tool and you insert the thing inside there's like a button inside it so once you press that you'll just start up okay and you'll get this so what you want to do is just go to BIOS setup and just don't touch anything over here now if you haven't done this process yet, the thing will show up as there will be a Goa written over here. So I have already done this so it's not showing me any Goa. So what we are going to do is just click on the right arrow key and go to um, configuration and over here there is an option. BIOS backflash. Now on yours it will be disabled like this, it will be disabled so what, what you have to do is you have to enable it ok and just go to the last exit option and exit saving changes now just wait for the thing to restart ok we have booted up so go to start um, computer C drive and there will be a folder called BIOS over here and just open this up and one more thing just make sure your battery is plugged I mean your AC is plugged in and make sure that this thing your battery level is full because if once you start this process if something goes wrong if your power goes then you're screwed the thing will get soft bricked and it won't start up so just make sure your battery is full and do not try this on any other laptop other than the E4115. So over here as you can see this thing has opened up now. So over here you'll have Goa written. Now I don't have it because I've already done this. So what you want to do is just click on OK. And it will do its thing. Now the thing will just exit 
and your computer will basically restart now it's restarting all right now it's going to start again okay now this screen will pop up and just make sure that whatever happens your computer stays on do not turn it off do not move the pups move the supply just do not whatever you do make sure nothing goes wrong because if this messes up over here you will end up with the soft brick device which is bad so once you are done the thing will just restart on its own and there you go we will have the Lenovo logo and no more cyberate scheme nonsense on the boot screen so thank you guys for watching hope this helped